All right, I don't know how to say this, but we have to talk. Look, your parents are getting a divorce. I know you just found this out, but I'm gonna warn you that pretty soon they're gonna force you to go to therapy, and I don't mean to sound pessimistic, but it's basically gonna ruin your social life until high school when they finally let you stop. Don't let the fact that he lets you play The Sims on his computer lure you in because he will lie to you about your parents, make promises that he won't even try to keep, and he'll tell you to do very bad things. But if you tell your parents that he does this sooner, you might just get your life back before you're 16. So you know your neighbor, Kyle? That kid you trade Pokemon cards with on the bus? Yeah, he's not gonna be a very good boyfriend. Alright, so you'll be 11 and you won't really know the difference anyway, but come on. He'll make fun of your haircuts, he won't even wish you a happy Valentine's Day, and I hate to tell you this, but your first kiss won't even be until like 8 months into the relationship and it won't be that good anyway. Don't make the mistake of waiting 14 months to dump him, because he's mean to your little sister and your friends. And whatever you do, don't let him convince you to keep it a secret when you get back together in 8th grade because your best friend will steal him from you without even knowing that she's done anything wrong. Don't worry, you'll forgive her. You won't forgive him. Don't even try to have a good 12th birthday. You have to go to therapy that night and if you arrange to go to a school dance, instead your parents will flip out and you will spend your birthday on a leather couch telling your therapist about how he ruined your life. <laughs> Don't let him convince you that you're being ridiculous because you totally deserve to have all the things that he will continue to keep you from having for most of your teenage years. Do your mother a favor, remind her at least three or four times whenever you plan to go to a friend's house after school. She gets really scared when you don't come home and she can't remember if she gave you permission to go anywhere. And it's way more important that she knows you're safe than it is to save yourself from the embarrassment of having the police department driving all over the place and calling your friends to try to find you. And don't try to make her feel guilty when you're humiliated later. She loves you. This will get easier when you have a cell phone, I promise. <laughs> you're gonna go home crying from your first day of high school. I'm sorry, I know you were really excited about it, but it's just gonna happen. Whatever you do, don't drop that awful vocal workshop class. That evil man known as Mr. Leahy will change your life, and you will also leave high school crying because of him. Not because he's embarrassed you in front of everyone again, but because he's going to quit. And as tough as it is to admit it, you're really gonna miss that cynical, sarcastic asshole. Don't take the PSAT your sophomore year of high school. It's too early anyway, and you won't do well, which will scare your parents into forcing you to take way more prep courses than necessary. And they're just gonna rework the whole damn test before you take the real one anyway. The new SAT will have a writing section, so you'll be fine. Well, more than fine. You'll get a perfect score on the essay. You, my friend, kick ass. Your junior year of high school, that really loud girl in concert choir will invite you to be in her production of Godspell over the summer. You're gonna be really upset because it means missing the family vacation that you've loved going on since you were like three years old, but you should do it anyway. It will be so incredibly worth the tiny sacrifice and she's going to quickly become the best friend you've ever had and probably will ever have. Lastly, you're going to have a lot of crushes. As you will quickly find out, they call them crushes for a reason. They will hurt. A lot. <laughs> I know it's really tough to keep being so freaking dedicated to someone who doesn't even look at you for two or three years, only to face public humiliation and heartbreak over and over again. Don't let them break your spirit and don't let them keep you from falling again once you finally moved on because one of them will eventually come around and you're going to fall in love with him and all those years of being made fun of and stepped on and taken advantage of will finally be worth fighting through because he's gonna fall in love with you too. Hang in there, ten-year-old self. You're gonna be okay.